Hi friends, it's Veronica Vax, naturopathic physician, happily retired. Today we are going to talk how to reverse dysplasia and metaplasia. Question came from Ray, a subscriber. He writes, I got intestinal metaplasia and doctor wants, wants me to do PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, and just watch the condition. He said that it's impossible to know what caused it. Uh, and the question was, can you actually help me to reverse that condition? Is it possible to reverse? And the answer is yes. But before I go to explanation to a lecture, how to reverse this condition, uh, I want to tell briefly a story. If you're not interested, go to minute two of this video. About 60 years ago, I had a patient. I have no recollection why she did colonoscopy at age 46, but she did. And um, on colon on, during the colonoscopy, polyp was removed, results of biopsy, it was a cancerous. So she went for chemo treatment. Six months follow-up colonoscopy, she did. Two polyps was removed. Patient is back to the office of oncologist and results of biopsy revealed. They are precancerous. So patient is absolutely out of her mind. So uh, she is saying, I just finished the chemo treatment and you are telling me that I am forming cancer again. And um, what, what, what shall we do? And then college said, well, nothing. We will just watch. We will repeat colonoscopy in uh, six months. Patient said, well, we will watch till I form the cancer. And then do you mean that it's, it's going to be annual event, uh, chemo treatment? Doesn't it feel to you that I am moving kind of in opposite direction from the health? At that moment, oncologist said, oh, you want to get healthy? Then you go to Dr. Veronica Vax. She's right here across the hall. At that time, I was practicing in a big oncology setting. So that's how I end up with this patient. Um, um, I talked to patient and I, uh, we, created a big, uh, we created a plan and she implemented that plan. This plan is here in this presentation for you guys, for people, for you, Ray, and people who have dysplasia or metaplasia. So you follow, this is the big picture plan. If you will have more questions on that, I will ask me there and I will create more videos on this topic. Ray, there is a lesson for you here in, in, this, uh, in this case. By the way, the person went after the, we changed the diet and, and implemented several herbs. She went again for colonoscopy and it was sparkling clean. The lesson here is, Ray, you are asking a wrong person, wrong question. We doctor go to medical school to learn how to diagnose the disease and how to treat the disease with the drug. Dysplasia and metaplasia is not a disease yet. So there is no treatment, but it does not mean that there is no, there is nothing that it's, uh, you can do to reverse it. There is a bulk of the literature. I will post in the description below only one article from the Journal of British Medicine uh, Digestive Tract on the uh, volume of digestive tract. Read this article. So uh, you will understand. Now, let's go actually to the uh, plan that I created uh, to this patient and the treatment plan. And let's talk about that. Now, in this picture, you will see that how cancer develops. So this is the normal tissue. They convert, when there is an insult, they convert to hyperplasia. Insult continues and it's converted on, into dysplasia. By definition, dysplasia is a violation of the ratio between the nucleus and a, a cytoplasm. Nucleus, nucleus of the cell become huge, occupies most of the cytoplasm. And the moment the cells get uh, out of place, go into the bloodstream or lymph, and it's, it's already cancer. So it's, it's going to be meta metastasis. This on the right is a other example of pulmonary tree, where the cells that are lining our pulmonary tract, uh, mostly two types. One of them has um, uh, brushes on their surface, and the other called goblet cells, they produce mucus. So when uh, insult habit like bacteria or virus or dust sits on, on the surface of those cells. What happens, you start to produce mu more mucus and mucus get produced and that brushes, they wash it out. They wash it out. As a result, you get this um, uh, discharge from, from the nose. But here is the interesting ray for you. Read this carefully. Look at that. What creates in uh, many cases, squamous metaplasia, retinoic acid deficiency, 
and cigarette smoke. So this is already a clue for you that there is something that you can do to reverse the condition. Okay, big picture plan. So you have to look at the three things. Number one, if we know that bacteria or virus contributes to a dysplasia or metaplasia, must be addressed must be eradicated. Then you have to deal with the host or person by himself. And then environmental factors such as diet, uh, consumption of antioxidant smoke and sm smoking. Now let's start with one, bacteria or viral infection. Example, if person has H. pylori, H. pylori have to be eradicated. Standards of treatment of H. pylori at the moment, triple therapy. PPI, clarithromycin, and amoxicycline. If you decide not to take the medication, you can go a natural route. To um, substitute antibiotics, you can do either mastic gum, take one milligram per day for two weeks, uh, garlic in form of oil or water extract, artemisia leaf or stem, also water extract. And aloe vera will act like a PPI. If you have a person has a uh, HPV, human papilloma virus, um, and cervical dysplasia, again, deal with human papilloma virus. Step number two, uh, deal with the body. Immune system have to be addressed. You take probiotic. I have a video on my channel, which probiotic to take. Please look at that. Take a liquid vitamins and minerals. For immune system, you can choose a couple herbs. One uh, could be immune stimulating and uh, such as astragalus or immune modulating herbs such as panax ginseng. Choose one out of those. Number three, environment. So water that you drink, food that you eat and air that you breathe have to be addressed. So on the diet, junk food must go. That means cookies, candies, uh, uh, bread, pasta, pizza, ice cream, soft drinks, uh, juices, all of that, prepackaged food, all of that have to go. You have to eat, you have to, to make a healthy choices. And here is an example of healthy choice for you. I call it Dr. Veronica plate. It's divided in four, four parts. One fourth is a protein. It could be meat or fish. Fish is better. The, the other uh, one fourth is complex carbohydrates. And the biggest portion is uh, vegetables, either raw or cooked. <clears throat> fish. If you eat fish, I'm okay with that. So four or five times per day would be fantastic. Take or fish uh, or take fish oil supplements. Why? Omega-3 does two things in our body. Number one, it's anti-inflammatory. And number two, it changes the cellular membrane. Cell membrane made out of fat, omega-3, 6, and 9. When 3 is deficient, the cell membrane becomes distorted. Okay, and this distorted cell membrane means that on the surface, there are receptors which are in distorted membranes start to fire and send the signal to the nucleus and telling the cell start to grow and reproduce. Fast growth and reproduction by definition is cancer. You have to, to eat cruciferous vegetables. They are full of inositol-3 uh, carbonyl. It's very well known, anti has anti-cancer properties. Two times per day, either raw or, or cooked, I do not care. Okay, chemicals from the air have... Uh, 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 and um, from food have to be eliminated. And I mean, some of the drugs, they're also chemicals. So please address, no smoking, no splenda, no canned food. Canned food has a lot of preservatives. They will act as a weak estrogen. They will go through the digestive tract, attach to the cell membrane and send the signal from the cell membrane into the nucleus. Estrogenic signal means start to grow and start to reproduce, which is by definition is cancer. So if you um, uh, need a health coach, please let me know. Otherwise, guys, like, subscribe, ask me questions there. Bye-bye for now.